welcome. I'm Laura Live Namaste Strength Yoga. Today we're going to do a short vinyasa flow practice. So let's start this practice standing at the top of the mat. So bring your feet together, big toes touch, heels slightly apart. Balance your weight between the balls and the heels of the feet. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, and exhale, bring the palms together in front of the heart. Close your eyes, tune into the breath. We want to have our legs slightly engaged, so a gentle pressure of the feet into the mat, a little bit of a lift of the quads, but we don't want to lock the knees or clench the glutes. See if you can find that. A little bit of pressure between the palms, but relax the shoulders. Let your head just float on top of the neck. Go ahead and begin with your ujjayi practice. And then on an inhale, reach the arms out and up. You can open the eyes if you like. Exhale, swan dive forward over your legs. Bend the knees at the bottom, inhale, roll on up. Now when you come up, grab the right wrist with the left hand, exhale for a side stretch over to the left. Inhale, back up. Exhale, swan dive forward over the legs. Bend the knees at the bottom, inhale, come on up. And we're gonna side stretch the other way. Grab the left wrist, pull over. Inhale and exhale, fold. And we'll flow through this sequence one more time. to standing. This time let's go ahead and take a full forward fold. Fingers to shins, lift halfway up, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Reach head away from tail, pull the abdominal muscles in, and then taking the right hand to the outer left shin, take the left arm up for a twist here. and switch directions. Release, and let's step back to plank pose. Holding in plank, strong abdominals, long legs, long neck. Let's lower to the floor. You can bend your elbows, drop your knees, or keep the legs long as you come to your belly. And then let's start with Sphinx Pose. Elbows under shoulders, come on up. Soft glutes. And if you wanna deepen the back bend, spread the fingers, root the hands into the floor or mat, straighten the arms, just let your upper body come up a little bit more. Legs are still relaxed and down. And then finally, if you want to walk your hands into Cobra, go ahead and do that so the hands are more under your shoulders. But roll those shoulders down your back. Keep the elbows a little soft. And again, glutes relaxed, hips heavy. And downward facing dog. Tuck toes, lift knees and hips. Root into the hands, move the heart back and then pedaling through the feet. So what we're doing now is we're actually going through all of the poses of a sun A, just really slowly, giving each pose a little time. But after we get, we've touched in with each pose, we're gonna start to flow through some sun A's. 
So from downward facing dog and take your time. If you want a little more here, feel free. When you're ready, look forward and you can step the feet back to the top of the mat. Toes touch, heels apart. Lifting halfway for Ardha Uttanasana again. Exhale, fold, full Uttanasana. Root down with the feet, reverse your swan dive, come on up, and palms together in front of the heart, where we began, pressing palms. Maybe close the eyes again to recheck in with your breath. And then the heart of our vinyasa practice, sun A's. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step to plank, lower Chaturanga or take knees down first. From Chaturanga, flip to the tops of the feet from Up Dog or you can keep legs on the floor for Cobra. Roll over the toes, lift hips, exhale, downward dog and breathe. We could do an entire yoga practice made up of just sun A's. So we'll spend a little time on these today just to get the whole body moving together and in sync with the breath. When you're ready, inhale, look forward. Exhale to step, walk, or hop forward. Half lift and fold. Reverse the swan dive and palms together. And let's keep flowing one breath per movement here. If you want, you can jump back to Chaturanga. Some people can even float back to it, transitioning to up dog or cobra, and then down dog, and maybe just one inhale in down dog. Exhale to step walk or hop forward. And just keep going at your own pace. So don't worry about whether you're faster or slower than me. Just continue to follow your own breathing rate here. Some people will also do power vinyasas. So if you want to do that, after coming to your first chaturanga, push back up, chaturanga again, and then move to your back bend. This is definitely optional, but if you want something more vigorous, you can give it a try. Make sure you're keeping your alignment though and your rhythm. So the push-ups in a power vinyasa should stay in rhythm with the breath. They're not like fast. flow to our next down dog and you may not get there at the same moment as me but when, I, uh, when you get there let yourself just hold in down dog for a few breaths or you can drop your knees to the floor and take child's pose in place of down dog if you need a slightly deeper rest. into the air, nice down dog split. Classic form, the hips stay square, so let's stick with that for now. Look forward, step forward. We're going to come into crescent pose, which is a high lunge. Knee should be over the ankle, and then as you come up, the back leg extends, so it's long. Back knee's not bent. 
maybe a little bit of navel in, tail down, so that the torso is really upright here. Reach the arms, shoulders are soft. Now, let's go ahead and bring the right hand inside the right foot. Pivot your back heel down. Take the left arm up. Push your shoulder against your knee. Left hand to your hip. Reach those right fingers forward. Let's come to half moon. So transfer your weight to that right foot. Float the left leg up. Hip stack, shoulder stack, and maybe let the top arm reach up as well. Stepping back to warrior two, bend the front knee, let the back arch land in line with the front heel. Come on up, knee over ankle, level out your hips, shoulders over hips, Arms at shoulder height, and just look over those front fingertips. Turn the front palm up. Couple breaths into good reverse warrior. And hands to the floor, vinyasa. Other side. Left leg up, down dog split. Look forward, step forward, high lunge, crescent pose. And then left hand down to the floor inside the left foot, shoulder against the knee, right arm up, back heel can pivot down. Half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Right hand to the hip to transition, left fingers forward. Float on up, maybe reach the top arm. And bend the front knee, step back, warrior two. Make your alignment adjustments. And then hold and breathe. Turning the front palm up, reverse warrior. And vinyasa. Let's inhale, look to the front of the mat. Exhale, step walk or hop forward. Half lift, <clears throat> fold. And let's take chair pose, Utkatasana, for a few breaths here. <clears throat> Straighten the legs, come to standing. We're going to step out wide for Prasrita Padottanasana. So parallel feet, feet about a leg length apart, hands to the hips, nice long forward fold. Hands to the floor between the feet, lean in. <clears throat> Inhale, 
If your head reaches the floor, you can try to float the feet up for a tripod headstand if it feels safe. Reach through the feet to bring them back down. Hands to the waist. Let's come on up. We're going to turn the right toes open for triangle pose. Front heel and back arch align, keeping the legs straight in the sides of the torso long, moving in to Trikonasana. And then come on up, stretch back, and we're going to go into a standing split. Fingertips to the floor, let the left leg fly into the air, fold deep towards the right. If you want, keeping the right fingers on the floor, bend your lifted knee, reach back with the left hand for that foot, push the knee into the air, pull your shoulder back. And then release your left foot to the floor. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Straighten the legs, come to standing. We're gonna step out wide again for a second variation on prasrita. Take the hands behind the back, interlace fingers, shoulder blades back and down, folding deep. And then root down to rise up. Triangle on the left side, Trikonasana. Arms out, moving into it. And stretch back, standing split on the left this time. So right leg lifts. Fold towards your left leg. If you tried the variation on the first side, you can try it again. So you bend your right knee, bring the right hand to your right foot, and then push the knee into the air as you continue to fold your torso towards your left leg. And then letting the right foot come to meet the left. Chair pose. And now we're just going to take a vinyasa. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Arna. Making your way back to down dog. You can modify the vinyasa or skip it if you want to. Or you can keep it up. Let's take the right leg into the air. Just one inhale. Exhale, step it forward. We're going to move to warrior one. Pivot the back heel down. Hips aligned. Squared with the front edge of the mat, arms up. You can bring the palms together and look up if you like. And shifting to warrior three. So you can keep the arms extended or bring palms together in front of the heart. Reach the head away and heel behind you. Now, keeping the front leg straight and the spine long, step back, plant your left fingers inside the right foot, right arm up, revolve triangle. And a turn to the floor, vinyasa. Left side, take the leg into the air on an inhale. Exhale, bring it forward. About five breaths in warrior one. Find 
your balance, steady your gaze. Right foot back, right fingers down by the left toes, left arm up, revolve triangle. And turn to the floor, take a vinyasa. Let's look forward on an inhale, exhale, step walk or hop forward, half lift, Uttanasana. Let's take chair pose and then we're going to do one sun B just to get back into a flow here real quick. Uttanasana, Ardha, Vinyasa, take it at the level that you'd like. And then one breath per movement with the legs. Inhale the right leg up, exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Inhale, warrior one. And vinyasa. Take a breath in down dog, and then let's come back to the top of the mat. Chair pose, and straighten the legs to standing. We're gonna take a brief moment for some handstand practice. So you could do this in the center of the room if you feel confident in your balance, or come to a wall if you need to have something behind you so that you don't fall over. If you're new to handstand and you don't think you're going to be balancing anyway, you could just, shoulders over wrists, uh, fingers spread wide, lift up out of your shoulders, take one leg into the air and just start to take some little hops up off the other toes. Don't worry about getting all the way upside down today. And then the other side. But you can do this at a wall so that if you do have enough momentum to get you up, that wall will catch you. All right, let's go for it. up must come down so at some point come down try again practice kicking up with the other leg Ooh. practice makes perfect and also builds your body's knowledge of the pose so don't worry if you have to practice and you don't get there it's okay And then when you're ready to release that practice, let's take Padahastasana to release our wrists. One foot on top of one hand, and then do the other side. Wiggle the toes into the wrists. Lift the shoulders, fold deep. All right, turn the toes out. Bring the elbows inside the knees, press the palms. Let's just do a quick little crow pose here. Don't think about it too much. Just see if we can find that arm balance for five breaths. Shins on the upper arms, shifting your weight forward. Feet down, sit bones down, boat pose, Navasana. Let's roll back to Halasana. If you need to shift on your mat or use your hands, that's fine. See if you can get those feet over the head, maybe hands to feet or Arms by the sides, fingers interlaced, shoulders underneath you. Roll down easy to a nice happy 
baby pose. Feet to the floor, bridge pose. You can take wheel here as well if you'd prefer. Two more breaths. Come on down easy. And then knees in, we're gonna rock shoulders to hips a couple times. Rolling up to one more boat pose. So see if you can just find that Navasana landing. Take your left hand to the right foot. Push the foot into the hand. Keep reaching your left leg forward. Take your right arm behind you for a little twist. Keep the balance here. Let's switch sides. Grab the right hand to the left foot. All right. Bring the feet underneath you. Let's come to our knees for camel pose, Ustrasana. Support your back, toes tucked, or feet extended. your waist to come up, head up last. Let's drop to the left hip and we're just going to do a seated twist. So cross your right leg over, both sit bones down, use your left arm around or past your right knee to turn right. And then switching directions. So switch your legs up first and then change your twist. Okay, untwist. So our last pose is going to be Paschimottanasana, which is just a seated forward fold. Take your legs out, engage your quads, flex the feet, and then inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, just let your upper body drape down over the legs. If you easily naturally reach the feet, you can gently pull the ball of the pinky toe side of the foot back towards you. But if your hands don't reach the feet, don't strain to try to catch them. Just let your arms rest or hands rest on the floor. You can relax your neck here. Stay with your ujjayi for a few more breaths. Walk your hands in to come on up, and let's cross the legs. All right, inhale, reach the arms out and up. Exhale, palms together in front of the heart. Close your eyes, tune into your breath. So I hope you enjoyed this short sequence. We kind of got a little bit of everything in a little bit of time. I do encourage you to take a Shavasana practice as well if you have a few extra moments. Let's close our practice with a simple bow forward. The light in me recognizes and honors the light in you wherever you are. Thank you so very much for joining me today and sharing this practice. Namaste. All right, thanks again. Feel free to leave
leave me any questions or comments if you have them. If you did enjoy this practice, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I do hope you'll do so. All right, that's it for now. Join me again next time and take care. Bye-bye.